Hey guys, Irene here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have another behind the scenes video. I was really inspired by this picture that I found on Pinterest. I wanted to photograph a model with darker skin tone and blonde, platinum, almost white hair. I wanted to create something very contrasting and different, with the hair being the main focus, maybe even bringing a fan and making it all windswept. I chose the model Genevieve, she has beautiful striking features and I knew that she can pull off that white wig. Now the wig itself I got from Amazon and it is a cheap synthetic wig that I got for around $36 but I did make sure that it is a lace front. A lace front will have a lot more realistic hairline and thus look a lot more natural in pictures. I will leave the link to this wig in the description down below if you guys wanna check it out and use it for your photo shoots. So I started off by taking all of her hair to the back and I smoothed the front with the help of the hairspray making sure that there is no little flyaway hairs. Next, I put on the wig, adjusted the hairline, and then I was able to cut the lace off. Now I'm applying Got To Be Glued Spiking Gel. It's gonna act as a glue to bind the wig to the model's hairline. I really like using this gel because once it's dry, it's very strong, but it also just washes off with the water after. Okay, now it's time to cut the wig, add some layers, baby hairs, and try to make it look a lot more natural. For makeup, I decided to go very natural and simple as I wanted all of the attention to be on the hair. As for colors, I went with warm browns. Uh, they complemented her skin very nicely and I thought that they also contrasted with a more cool tone of her hair really well. All of my indoor photo shoots are normally shot in my home, in my living room. Here's me setting up the backdrop stand and the backdrop and Genevieve was actually helping me out which was very very nice of her. Originally I wanted to use this pastel blue backdrop and a blue dress but once we tried on some of the outfits I realized that she was starting to look a little bit like Elsa and it was looking a little bit too costumey. So I then decided to go with my second concept which was using more rich and contrasting colors so I went with this red backdrop and white outfit both the white skirt and the white top are of course thrifted for my main light I'm using aperture 120d which is a continuous LED light with their light dome 35 inch parabolic softbox and of course I will have it linked in the description down below so I was shooting and the backdrop looked kind of really dark but I don't really want to put this big light on the backdrop so I got one of those little Godox RGB lights I put it on red and I put it directly beside the model and here on the backdrop so it's gonna create this nice spotlight right be behind her and it's gonna look really nice it makes it so much better And finally, for my photography equipment, I'm using Sony a7 III and my new Sony lens. This is 90mm 2.8 macro. I've been really loving using macro lenses for studio portraits. And yes, this lens was definitely a good investment. I'm very, very happy with it. That's super pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's gorgeous. You know what? We need a fan, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm gonna bring it from downstairs real quick because I put all of our fans down for the winter. Okay, there we go. <laughs> wow. It doesn't, I don't want it like too much. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> this looks much, much better with the hair blowing like this. It's pretty much like I was trying to put it with the spray, but I don't have to do it like every five seconds. Oh, so much better. That's really, really pretty. Yeah, I really like when it kind of like yeah. is going that way because like sweeping everything yeah. this way looks really cool. Yes, ooh, that's really pretty. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness, I really love this. Yeah. 
One thing I will say is that the wig was not very easy to work with. I constantly had to fix it, spray it with hairspray. So if you are thinking of doing this, just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh my goodness, I love that. And I love that like very... Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, those eyes, yes. Beauty. Maybe if I put it on the other side. Let's see what that looks like. It's blowing more like sort of this thing. But I do like you kind of turning your body slightly towards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's really nice. I feel like I like the other side better. I like how it was sweeping everything sort of this I way. Know, right. So I think we'll do that and just have it like sweep towards this side. Oh, I'm really happy that it's actually worked because if the wig wasn't working, like <laughs> we like glued the hair down. So I don't know what we would have done if this, we would have tr have to try like a different wig or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look down like that. Oh, that's super pretty. Oh my goodness. I love that. Let's take a few like more far away. So I'm gonna be now taking some pictures of like, um, it's like up to your knee kind of. Oh. And we need to bring this closer to you. I want it like really winded. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's beautiful. What if you, um, so put your leg kind of like this, because I want just a little bit more shape on the bottom. Okay. Oh, I love this, I love this. Yeah, and go, so yeah, give me like more drama, yes. Yes, 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 oh my God, I love that, I love that. What if you hold it with uh, just this hand, and this, so, oh sorry, the other one, yes. And then with this hand, you just kind of like either or like something here. I kind of just want to see more of like your shape. Yeah. Just a little bit more because it's like covering, it's the, the sleeves and everything is covering yeah. a little bit. So like, just kind of like maybe make more shape and sure. yeah. Let's see. Yes, yes, yes. That's already better. Actually put it a little bit low. Yes. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, you know what, just grab it, just grab the skirt. And you can kind of like, okay. yeah, keep it like lower, but not, yeah, but then you'll have some, yes, 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 exactly. That's cool. Okay, let's do without the flowers a few more. Oh, okay, I like this, yeah. but I need to move the light for that just a little bit more. Yeah. This is why you need assistance for the, <laughs> for the studio photo shoots. Moving lights is not fun. Yeah, that's better. That's really cool. I really like this, but I think I need more of 
this and closer for this shot. Ooh! Oh my goodness, yes. <gasps> Stop there. There's just few, it looks almost perfect. There's <laughs> few things. The wig is just very hard to... It's like, you see just a little bit of shadow and I can already, and I can like see your natural hair yeah. through it, right? So like, if it's like a little bit of shadow, it's just like, the illusion is gone. So it needs yeah. to be like perfectly laid. It's just this wig is not very good. <laughs> you know, you get what you pay for. <laughs> it was 30 bucks. <laughs> Maybe we'll just do a little bit of photoshopping there. Cause I don't think I can. But I love this pose. So here I'm doing more close-ups. So it's kind of like up to here. Oh, I love that. I love, oh my God, the sleeves look amazing. Holy. <gasps> oh my God. I love this. Okay, let's do some more of those close-ups like like how I was doing and then we'll do a different outfit. Yeah, and I loved how you were doing your hands kind of like this because it it like opens up the sleeves and it makes it look really cool. Like, um, where was those pictures? See, like I love how the yeah. sleeves look because they just, I don't know, I just love, I love that. I do love the shoulder, but I, I love the sleeves too. Like. <laughs> Yes, 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 exactly. Oh, that's so cool. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. I love that. So do that again and kind of like, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. You can like also like cover that side with it. <laughs> with your hands. <laughs> But grab this hair in front as well, like the other side. Yes, because I want it to like flow more. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, stay like that, stay like that. Wow. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Ooh, yes, look up like that and kind of like that look that you did. Kind of like just breathe through your mouth. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's really cool. That's gorgeous. And let's do again like more on that side. So with your shoulder and with your hands. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I think if, so turn your face more towards me. So like the body here, yeah, but your face towards me more. Yes, yes, this is it, this is it. Yes, oh my God, yes. So add the hand, uh, maybe like, the, yes, yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Oh, and eyes at me here. All right. All righty. Let's do one more outfit. So we tried the second outfit with this big tool skirt, but I didn't end up liking those. I think the skirt was just overpowering the image just a little bit too much. And again, I wanted all the attention to be on the hair. So I much preferred the previous all white outfit. All right, so we just finished our photo shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Genevieve. She did such an amazing job today. Uh, so all of the links will be in the description down below. That's where you can find her Instagram. Oh, and there's Luna. <laughs> and uh, 
So yeah, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! <laughs> that was cute.